whenever a patient is intubated in the icu or otherwise i think the operator is always scared of ventilator associated pneumonia because we know that ventilator associated pneumonia the incidence can vary from different hospital to different it can be something like 8 to 30% of the patient might develop and uh, the more the patient is on the ventilator the more chances of getting ventilator associated pneumonia before we go on to the treatment uh, we will discuss first about the prophylaxis or prevention of ventilator associated pneumonia i have with me dr yatin mehta who is the chairman department of critical care anesthesia at medanta hospital medicity gurgaon so he is going to tell us dr yatin you know you must have any time a patient goes on a ventilator everybody is scared of ventilator so how you can prevent or how you can decrease the incidence of pneumonia in your ic well the best prevention is don't intubate the patient that's correct non invasive ventilation if you can manage with that i think that is the best option but many many times it is not possible and many time in tertiary care hospital like us they come intubated so you don't have a choice there so once the patient is already intubated on a ventilator obviously the fear of ventilator associated pneumonia is a, is a real problem particularly in india in tertiary care hospitals how does one prevent or how does one reduce the incidence in your own icu well one there are several methods to do it like the famous fast hug um, Uh, a pneumonia which is there that means the, you elevate the head of the patient to about 40 degrees so the gastric secretions don't trickle into the respiratory tract and they uh, produce infection uh, it will prevent aspiration also aspiration also the other thing is that unless the patient is really a high risk for um, uh, gastric erosions you avoid uh, pp uh, protein proton pump, pump, pump inhibitors. inhibitors or h2 receptor blockers so you can manage with uh, sucral fate or something like that also early enteral nutrition probably post pyloric nutrition is better because again the aspiration chances are less if you do that oral hygiene is important in our icu they all clean the mouth with chlorhexidin and also good hygiene of the patient is important so we do give a chlorhexidin not a scrub but a wipe uh, with disposable wipe uh, every day now most of these infections again are transmitted from hand to hand or from respiratory tract to respiratory